guys uh, this is the last lesson in the collection of the human nervous system and this is a short lesson on the disorders of the nervous system this is actually some of the mcqs that are asked in your entrance exam are asked on some common disorders of the nervous system which is not mentioned in your ncrt textbook so i have just added a small lesson on that and this is presented by me kaushik chari i'm currently pursuing my mbbs uh, uh, from aims and you can follow me on this link so some of the central disorders central disorders means they are affecting mainly the brain or the central nervous system uh, so we have the parkinson's disease the parkinson disease is a motor disorder of the brain which is due to decreased dopamine in the brain so this is something that you should know because it's an mcq and the alzheimer's disease the alzheimer's disease is due to decreased acetylcholine in the brain this was an mcq in the exam that i had given and this was also mentioned in some of the previous year papers i remember this question coming in two exams uh one was chipmer and one was also in the uh, neat exam that had come that uh, which a neurotransmitter is involved in alzheimers so the answer is uh, acetylcholine and what is meningitis meningitis is infection of the meninges so we had learned about the three layers of meninges and uh, the infection of them leads to meningitis what is encephalitis is basically infection of the brain parenchyma itself or the brain proper not the meninges so you need to know these four terms and uh, moving on and um, disorder of the nerves then <coughs> we know that the nerves are covered in myelin and myelin helps in transmission of impulses and transmission of impulses is uh, basically uh, loss of myelin will lead to a syndrome which is known as gullian barre syndrome it is a very famous and a very common syndrome wherein loss of myelin leads to decreased ner nervous transmission and a number of other symptoms which is not required for you but you just need to know that loss of myelin can lead to gullian barre damage to the nerve damage to the nerve can be physical damage like all of us must have experienced that funny bone sensation when we hit our elbow uh, at a pointed sharp object um, when you get a tingling sensation from the elbow to the little finger that is just because you have hit a nerve and that is a, it causes a slight damage to the nerve uh transient damage and that is why you get this funny bone sensation and uh, damage to the nerve by any causes by compression basically uh, some nerves are very superficial in your body they lie on uh, lie very superficially so if some pressure is applied on them for a long period it can lead to this tingling sensation numbness uh you also you all must have uh, experienced this when sitting for long periods on the ground and then you suddenly stand up and you feel numb on your foot uh, that is just because you have compressed a nerve and you have caused a slight damage to the nerve but uh, nothing to worry that will just that's just transient damage so that's what happens when you damage your nerve and one other thing that you should remember is uh, damage to nerve can occur in diseases such as diabetes as well so this is just a short chapter i'm telling you about some of the common mcqs that i actually predict they might ask so and then you have the some familiar terms that you should know and uh, these are terms that you hear continuously on television or you hear that some of your relative unfortunately had an episode of stroke uh, stroke is basically that blood supply is to a part of the brain is blocked suddenly so the blood supply to the brain is by main arteries in your body uh, which i'm not going to name because that will be too much for you so these arteries carry blood to the brain and when there is sudden occlusion of these arteries it leads to a phenomenon called as stroke and what is brain dead brain dead is basically that the person's organs are alive his heart is beating his lungs are he is able to breathe but with support obviously but his brain is dead how is that possible because if brain, blood supply to the brain is blocked for a long period of time the person may become brain dead so this is lack of blood supply to the brain brain becomes non functional so what is coma coma is not brain death coma is basically that the person is not conscious This coma is loss of consciousness but the brain is functional it usually occurs when there is serious damage to the brain as you see in road traffic accidents or serious head injuries so that is coma so these are some familiar terms and now i'm going to move on to some common disorders of the eye so many of you must have heard about myopia so myopia basically is that when the lens becomes short its focal length decreases the focal length of the lens decreases in normal conditions the focal length of the lens is adjusted in such a way that 
light whatever light falls on the lens will fall on the retina but when the focal length of the uh, lens decreases due to some problem then the image is formed in front of the retina so myopia is also known as near sightedness that is a person cannot see images from f- from the far uh, because images from the far are considered coming from infinity and uh, they from infinity the uh, uh, this uh, image is formed at the focus that is from your common physics knowledge and the focus is shifted to the front of the eye so that's why a person cannot see something that is coming from far but a person is able to see something that is coming from nearby because uh, the rays light rays coming the of light coming from nearby will not strike the lens will not be parallel to each other they will be somewhat diverging or sorry converging towards the lens so that would make the lens uh, put them on the retina so uh, if you see something like <clears throat> myopia in where you can see only far sightedness you can correct it with uh, sorry near sightedness you can correct it with a biconcave lens biconcave lens which will focus it on the eye so f- f- from here you just have to remember that myopia is caused due to a decrease in focal length of the lens or the lengthening of the eyeball or by the lengthening of the eyeball both of which can cause myopia and it is corrected by putting a biconcave lens myopia is near sightedness that is a person can see only objects close to his eye but he cannot see objects far away so next disorder is hyperopia hyperopia or hypermetropia is a disorder of the eye just opposite to myopia that a person can see things from far but he cannot see things which are near to him that is because the focal length of the eye <coughs> in the focal length of the eye the image forms beyond the eye so uh, something very close by something very close by the focal length would be beyond the eye but something very far off a person is able to see this is hyperopia or hypermetropia and it is corrected by putting a biconcave lens yeah biconvex lens sorry it is a biconvex lens and it is corrected by putting a biconvex lens in here this the refractory power of the lens is decreased and the image is formed beyond the focus so the dysfunctions the lens you have cataract astigmatism this is just a repeat slide you have aqueous humor which in, which causes glaucoma retina which causes night blindness with vitamin a deficiency so moving on to the ear problems uh, this is i think this is the last slide yeah so here the ear problem i explained this in my previous lesson as well that ear problem can be of two types conductive or sensory neural conductive is when the conductive system is at fault when the conduction is at fault that is some there is some problem with the external auditory meatus or there is some problem with the tympanic membrane the tympanic membrane has a hole in it so it's not able to conduct the sound vibrations to the cochlea or there is some problem with the malleus incus of the stapes so the middle ear there is some fluid accumulation in the middle ear because of which vibrations are not being transmitted to the cochlea whatever it may be that is known as conductive hearing loss and uh, the causes of sensory neural hearing loss are when the a uh, problem is in the cochlea itself so that is some problem in the organ of corti or from problem in the nerve that is taking impulses from the ear to the brain so the key areas of the human nervous system that you must concentrate for your mcqs especially for our aims exams is the action potential and the resting membrane potential obviously these are two concepts that are not easily grasped by students and uh, that is where aims target set because obviously it's not easily grasped by students and aims wants to target over here the brain of course a uh, little bit you should know about the functions of the brain i have included almost everything that you need to know extra about the brain in my lesson and functioning of the eye and the ear <coughs> that i explained in my previous lesson and a little bit about the disorders that i've talked about in this lesson and uh, that's it for the human nervous system and for this lesson and thanks for watching